Hi, it's Mark out here with you again, once again, as usual. If you listen to what's going on around me here, you know where I am. I'm out at the Old Fort Gun Club here in Western Arkansas, and uh, I'm about to try out a, a new revolver that I've bought. Uh, it's a Taurus M605 Polyframe 357 Magnum with two-inch barrel. It's a short barrel uh, Magnum that, of course, you can shoot 38 Specials, 38 Special Plus P, or 357 Magnum. I'll show you the gun here in just a minute. This is just going to be an initial test of the gun. I'm going to be shooting it with 38 Special Plus P, and I'm going to be shooting it with full load 357 Magnums, 158 grain bullets. Uh, big difference in the way those those uh, rounds are going to shoot through any small frame revolver. So uh, we'll see how it works here. I'm going to show you the gun here. I'm going to, I'm going to take the camera over and uh, show you what's in the box, and then I'll get out here and I'll start doing some shooting. Uh, you won't have to, to uh, suffer all the way through me loading and doing every shot to every target because it's not going to be a training video where I'm moving around like I normally am. But you'll get to get a good sense, just like I will, of uh, how the gun performs, how it feels, and uh, some of the features of it. And then there will be a follow-up report when I do a video on training with revolvers, small revolvers and small pistols. So, so let's get going then with the Taurus M605 357 Magnum. So I'm just coming over to the table here where the gun, I've got the gun laid out here. Uh, the sun is giving me a lot of problems out here. It's, it's uh, really bright and at a bad angle. Uh, this is the ammo I'm going to be using with it. It's uh, the Winchester. Um, I'm going to be using uh, Winchester 38 Special Plus P, 125 grain, uh, with 125 grain bullets, of jacketed uh, soft hollow points, and the Monarch 357 Magnum, 158 grain, soft jacketed hollow point. Um, something that anybody considering a small uh, or short barrel revolver should understand is that you can shoot in a 357 any of the 38 special, 38 special, 38 special plus P or 357. I've carried a revolver for a long time with 38 special plus P and I never have felt under gun and you shouldn't either. But there is a reality here and this is not a criticism but it's just a reality. The 38 special plus P what you're seeing is at the top there the muzzle velocity of 945 and the energy 248. The velocity of course has the speed of the bullet when it's coming out of the gun uh, right at the muzzle. The energy is a just a, a broad view of the destructive power of the bullet, not uh, the bullet itself and the hole it makes, but the energy that it puts off as it goes through the target. Over here on the Monarch 357 Magnum, the velocity coming out of the muzzle is 1,607 feet per second. Uh, that's over 600 feet per second uh, faster than the 38 Special Plus P. And look at the energy, 833 foot-pounds. That's about three and a half times the energy or the destructive power of the bullet that would be landing from the 38 Special Plus P. We're going to try this Taurus. Um, M605. This is what it looks like in the box right here. Notice it has uh, two, it has a second grip right over here. Uh, the grip that comes on it is, is something I really love because it comes with a grip. That, that one that's on it is allows me to have a full grip on this little short barrel revolver. So that's a big plus when you shoot, particularly when you're shooting 357 Magnum loads. So we're going to go out and try it out here and uh, see how this gun works and how it feels and uh, let you kind of see a preliminary report here. This little gun will be residing in a uh, Black Hawk Tech Grip holster in my in my side pocket here while I'm out here shooting. Uh, but this is a little bit better look at the gun. I'll let you see it in my hand. In a few minutes I'll let you see what, what how the recoil affects my hands uh, up close with the camera and even do a clip in short in slow motion but that's how the gun fits my hand. What I really like here is that full grip I get on that, that the grip that came on it. It's a five shot revolver has a fiber optic front sight and if you get a gun like this don't expect to keep that fiber optic sight in there forever that rod in there forever when it comes out get another one heat it on both ends and put another one in but it is nice and bright out here in the sun you can really see it you see it looks like you can see it from a mile off uh, so we're gonna find out how this little gun shoots and uh, how it feels we'll see what what happens here now for the Taurus M605 with 38 special plus P's put through it at short distance just to get used to the gun so here we go
By the way, I'm shooting this all in double action right now. A long, uh, heavy trigger pull and uh, in double action just because it's the, the most likely self-defense scenario you would use this gun in would be emergency self-defense. You'd have to pull it out and shoot. You would have time to thumb cock it. So that's the way I'm starting out. I'll do some with uh, thumb cocking it, but for right now I'm shooting it double action. Yeah, it's that hard to control, <laughs> even that close. So uh, it didn't hurt bad enough with, with the 38 Special Plus P, so I just loaded it with full house, 357 Magnum rounds, and try again close and see what happens here. I'm trying to be manly, uh, but I'm trying not to cry at the same time. <laughs> it, yeah, it does. It's it's a painful gun to shoot, but uh, but that was with 357 Magnum, and uh, it is painful. But you saw on that target right there, I got them really where I wanted them. There, I've, I've got I've gotten used to the in, um, to the sights here, the the fiber optic, and where it sits on the target, and uh, made a big difference there. So I'm gonna shoot a couple more here. I don't even know where that went. <laughs> good news is I think they all landed on the target. So, so far so good. I'm going to reset the camera up here and I'm going to shoot at some of the steel here now. So we'll see how this works. Uh, actually, I know how it'll work. I'm going to shoot at the steel first with a 38 Special Plus P. So, here we go. Next will be the 357 Magnum on the steel. Another camera battery overheated. <laughs> I've had enough for today. Uh, this is what well, uh, reviews that I've read. I can confirm that this thing, this gun, is a brute with 357 rounds. I'll be talking more about it. I'll write an article on it. Uh, this is the first uh, first use of it, first impression of it. And uh, as far as getting the gun on target and so forth, if you can hold it steady. Uh, Keep steady when you pull that trigger, particularly with that double action, with that double action trigger. Um, that'll be a big deal. I'm going to let you see, just right quickly here, how the 357 Magnum and how the 38 Special Plus P 
uh, does in my hand with a close up on my hand. 38 special plus P. Three fifty seven Magnum. I said it had enough a while ago, but I had to do that one anyway because I told people I would let them see my hand uh, with this gun. So that's the initial uh, shoot with the Taurus M six oh five, this three fifty seven Magnum. I uh, Apparently it'll do exactly what you <laughs> it'll it'll do exactly what it's supposed to do, but uh, you're gonna have to practice with it, and that's gonna be the rough part because practicing with this with 357 Magnum, if that's what you're gonna carry, it's gonna be unpleasant. So uh, be thinking about it. And another thing is, I used 158 grain bullets here. I'll I'll grab some uh, 110 grain bullets in a 357 Magnum load, and historically from other guns that I've used that. Uh, takes quite a bit of that just absolute crushing feel out of the palm of your hand. It'll still be a, a hard round, uh, but it'll take that crushing feeling out. So, until we do the second report, and until I get an article written, I'll see you soon.